So as a PCB fabricator, I'm interested in how you support stack ups. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. Let's talk about it. Um, I know there's plugins for stack ups, um, or at least I thought there was. Okay, sure. Um, tell us what your perspective is on PCB stack ups and what kind of support you're going to provide, or mm -hmm. are you dependent on the community to design plugins? That's what I thought, but go ahead. Well, let's see. Uh, so let's define stack ups a little bit. Okay. Right? Uh, you can have a, a number of different kinds of stack ups. What we natively support at the moment, version 8, version. Uh, so in version 8, which is the stable version at the moment, what we natively support is we natively support a stack up table that provides up to 32 copper layers with 32 dielectric layers of uh, configurable properties with configurable properties. So you can create this and you can export a graphical item that represents this stack up table onto one of your one of your layers for documentation purposes this stack up gets exported also in the 2581 format Great. and it also gets exported in the uh, in the gerber x3 uh, so for the manufacturers that support gerber x3 we can get that in there otherwise it's just a, a, a documentation layer that uh, people can view in their Gerber files. In version 9, that stack up table becomes a first class object. That means that it is does not need to be regenerated when you change your stack up. It will be automatically updated in the documentation layer. That is, is beneficial to some folks. Version 9 will also increase the number of layers that you can have, both copper layers and documentation layers, mechanical layers, some some programs call that call them. Our numbers are we just said, well, let's see if we can just make the number of layers, usable layers, as many as people want. There we don't know of any use cases where people need more than 32 layers. But that's not to say that they won't start existing. So we want to future, future proof that there. Certainly, many people will have more than 32 documentation layers or non-copper mechanical layers. You can dedicate layers to rename these layers, dedicate, dedicate a layer to your uh, representation of V grooves, dedicate a layer to your representation of mechanical placement and GD and T can go on one of these layers. You have lots of lots of options and having those options are are really useful for people. So a lot of a lot of that went into went into there. Things we're looking at in the future are region based layers. Right now Great. KiCad does not support region based layers mm -hmm. natively. The way people tend to do that in KiCad is to create a documentation layer, draw a rectangle around the area in which they only want a certain number of layers. So if you have a rigid flex, maybe you have the uh, two layer flex connecting to six layer rigid boards, for instance. So you can draw a you can create a documentation layer where you draw a rectangle around the flex part and you say on these parts you only you only use FCU and BCU, right? your front copper and your back copper, and ignore the internal layers. That can that sort of documentation can be used by a fabricator to create the rigid flex, but it's not nicely represented in the, say, the 3D viewer for KiCad at the moment. That That's something that we're looking at for version 10. Oh, that sounds great. So do you think of the stack up as an integral part of the design process? With, yes. Without a doubt. It, okay. the, stack up, the stack up is critical for any number of things, including your timing matching right if you're if you're trying to do uh, length matching based on the arrival times of high speed signals you don't really care if it's 
13.1 millimeters or 13.3 millimeters as long as your arrival time is still you know 50 nanoseconds for this and you know 50.1 nanoseconds for the for the second signal your 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 eye diagram is going to work out for there so having the accurate representation of the underlying materials that exist in the stack up allows us to do better simulations better length matching for high speed designs there's nothing that there's no downside to having accurate representation of the physical system oh absolutely okay and then in terms of ipc 2581 support um you can import a stack up that's 2581 format hmm. no we do not uh, import 2581 stack ups okay the we export 2581 stack ups the we can certainly import stack ups from other KiCad projects and utilize templates, but I we haven't received a request yet from someone saying, I have a 2581 file. I want to use that stack up in a new KiCad project. I don't have any other formats available to me. Can we import this uh, this from 2581? But if someone asks for it, I don't see any reason why we won't be able to parse that information out of a 2581 file. Okay, good. I guess I'm asking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>